Hello gamers and welcome to Jurassic Park. Let's check it out. To set up the game, what you're going to do is you're going to put uh, these little raptors, as you see here, they have the little stickers on them, green. They go into these little areas here on the board. You put three in each one of its pins. You have the spitters, which look like this. Nice little nice dinosaur molds here. They have the little yellow on them. You're going to put two sp spitters in each one of the areas located like that. And of course, you have the huge T-Rex. And again, the minis for this game look incredible. He's on a rock too. He's got the little red tag here. Like you could confuse him with another dinosaur, but he goes right back here. As you see, we have all the player pawns here. And look how big this board, this is my hand. Look how big this, this is a huge, this is one of the biggest games I've ever seen here. Um, you have your player pawns here. They're basically just the little cardboard uh, with a little stand at the bottom. You, there's several different players to pick from. What you're gonna do is you're going to choose, look at these awesome visitor passes here. You flip it over and that's the character. So you just choose either at random or you just go in there and choose your favorite person from the movie and you get to play them as many players as you want. As you see, tons of players you can be in this game. And so you're gonna pick one of these, that's who you're gonna be. And then you're gonna draw from this deck here. Every player is gonna have four cards in their hand. Now, these four cards could be an escape a dinosaur card or move one space. It could have you move two or three spaces if you're on a road. Road spaces are these yellow lines here that are all around the park here. They have these yellow line spaces here. They have, this is called a port. This is a heliport. It has nothing to do in the game. There's nothing special about this. There's nothing in the instructions about this. However, they let you know what they are and they tell you where the tour road is, but it, I guess they had an idea for this, but didn't decide to do it. My favorite part, if you can see it over here, is a compass, north, south, east, west. Why? Why do we need to know that? I don't know, man, this game's crazy. Anyway, so you move two or three spaces on a road, and here you can move just two spaces any, either way. And then this one cancels a card. These are the different types of cards that can be in the deck, but you're each gonna start with four. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to march your happy dinosaur running self all the way through the park over to the visitor center to win. But to do that, you're gonna have to avoid all these yummy dinosaurs who want to eat humans. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna roll this dang die. This is the dinosaur die. You may have to move spitters one space, maybe a raptor three spaces, maybe the T-Rex an incredible five spaces. This guy is fast. So you'd roll the die and then, oh, spitters, two spaces there, all right? So I can move this one, one, two, just anywhere I want to right now in the game. Now, once they leave the pin area, they may not pass back through the pin area, and any players may not enter a pin area, and it is, of course, marked out in these red outlines. Those are just where dinosaurs start in the game after they move out from those pins. The, those spaces are no longer inhabitable. But anyway, that's what you're gonna do, and then as your character, you can do three things. You can play a card, one of the cards I have here, you can move your pawn, just one space, or you can trade in your cards if you want to. Uh, whatever card you play at the end, you can pull back up to that many. You, so if you played a card, you can get another card at the end of your turn. But if you want to just trade these in, maybe two of them, maybe all, maybe all four of them, whatever, you could do that as one of your turns as well. And the other turn, they, the other option you can have is to pass, even though I don't know why you'd want to pass in this game. Maybe if you didn't have the right card to escape a dinosaur. So how this is going, these characters are going to be running like crazy all around the board if you have this many players. And you're going to be rolling that dinosaur die, getting people moving around. And when a dinosaur gets placed on a person, bad things happen. Actually, the only bad thing happens is that person cannot move. The only way you can escape a dinosaur is by rolling this die and hopefully getting that move die to move the dinosaur off your space and onto another player's or 
playing one of these Escape the Dinosaur cards and move one space. Now there are maintenance sheds as you see across the board here. Those are safety areas where if your character's on there, a dinosaur may not get you on that area. It can't enter into a place where a maintenance shed is. Yes, that's right. Even the raptors cannot go in the maintenance shed unlike the movie. Now other things dinosaurs can't do, they can't land on a space with another dinosaur and uh, that, that's one thing they can't do. They can pass through them but they can't land in the same space as a dinosaur. Uh, characters cannot go through a space with a dinosaur. They must move around that dinosaur if they want to. So if I had a dinosaur there and there, I'd have to go one, two, and three, hopefully, if I had that many spaces, I would probably get to go two at the most. But anyway, as you see, you're trying to maneuver through this park where all these crazy dinosaurs are trying to get you, and the first person to the visitor center wins. Final thoughts, what do I think about this very huge game? Look how big this box is. And basically, it's big because of that board. That is one of the biggest player boards I have ever seen. Now, of course, mine is a lot older. It's been warped, but it's still fun. I first saw this game on my very first trip to Gen Con, what was it, three years ago? And I think that was when Jurassic World was coming out, so everyone was uh, checking it out of the library. I wanted to check it out too, but I could never get around to it. Everyone had it checked out. So I found it for really cheap because the box I got is really warped. You can't, you kind of see, it's kind of got this big indention in it. But anyway, uh, the box is in bad shape and for some reason people dropped the price on that, which I'm happy with. Uh, but I I picked it up and because the missus loves Jurassic Park. I forgot to mention the youngest player in all of these Jurassic Park games goes first. I mean, if you play this game with the you know max amount of people allowed, I think you'd have a lot of fun. I don't like how the dinosaurs don't eat you. You're basically just stopped. I guess you're just hiding from the dinosaurs, but can you really hide from velociraptors and, and spitters and everything? I don't get it. I mean, we're all going for the visitor center too, and most times people just do a straight shot. There's a whole portion of that island that no one ever steps on, well, at least in a four player game. But I can imagine if you had maybe eight players going, maybe people would take different avenues just to get away from the dinosaurs. But that's all it is. It's basically roll and move when it boils down to it and playing a few cards. So there isn't that much to the game. Now, of course, this is an older game that came out when the movie came out. So, I mean, the pieces look nice. I guess people were enjoying just that it was Jurassic Park. But overall, it's not that great of a game. I mean, yeah, if, if you wanted to play a little dinosaur game with kids, go ahead. So should you get this one? Probably not because it goes for way too much online. I would wait and find it at a garage sale or something like that, a flea market. And if it's for a decent price, go ahead and pick it up. Maybe if you like Jurassic Park. Uh, the Mrs. Likes Jurassic Park. It's gotten played a few times with me and her and when a few of her friends are over. Uh, lately it hasn't been played in a couple of years. It's kind of funny because a few years ago uh, a viewer asked me to do a review on all these. That was about two or three years ago. I said, yeah man, I'll do that. Well, voila, I'm finally there. Only three years late, right? All right, gamers, that's all the time I have for now. Until next time, game on. Ooh, this hand.